As the early artiodactyl lineages diverged, some specialized their foregut, separating the stomach into separate compartments to better metabolize nutrient-poor vegetative matter such as grasses. Some, such as camels and hippos, are known as pseudo-ruminants and possess a three-chambered stomach, while by the end of the Eocene, the first members of the order Ruminantia had evolved. This order includes many modern artiodactyls, such as cattle, goats, sheep, deer, giraffes, and others, and can be most readily identified by the four-chambered stomach, which allows them to, quote, chew their cud, or continue to regurgitate and redigest their food. So in these images, ruminants are chewing plant material, swallowing it, and as it is processed in the first two chambers of the stomach, the solid material can then be regurgitated back into the mouth where it can be chewed and swallowed again. During this process, microbes in the first chambers of the stomach can process the plant material and release volatile fatty acids, which these animals can then use as energy. The fourth chamber of the stomach is the area which is comparable to the stomach of traditional animals. And so the ruminants share a common ancestry and their way of processing relatively nutrient-poor plant material was thus an ancestral adaptation which allowed the group to diversify into a number of successful lineages.